then when the, we will start playing, you know the example position is just below. It's called a uh, regional air travel, so kind of like between cities, you know, as opposed to that last mile, you know, and I guess if we're looking at last mile, you know, the fact there might be uh, self-driving vehicles, you know, not all pods kind of might be a, you know, a better solution to get people from a transport hub to their destination. So, yeah, so these kind of EV tolls, you know, are very much kind of regional uh, air travel. Where we've seen Lilium kind of really take steps forward certainly is looking at the kind of aesthetics of their design. Some of the, you know, other kind of EV toll manufacturers, you know, it can look a little bit uh, kind of black and military, you know, and that really does put people off. You know, and if you're looking at your use cases, looking at people kind of like wanting to, to kind of uh, ride these services, you know, and it looks like it's a kind of scary drone, you know, then, uh, you know, it's not going to encourage people into it so you know i think they've really thought about the design you know they've really kind of like tried to make it feel uh you know like it's a superior service Of course, in the aircraft visually. So it will, it will. For, for example, today in Vilos flight, today uh, we have to go with heading 290 to the west. Then, before the border, we turn left to be parallel to do the first pass, parallel to the runway. The average person, uh, you know, and I can see it being kind of like 2030. You know, is when we will see this sort of. Uh, you know, air taxi service uh, coming to market. Um, you know, there are people who are looking to commercialize flights in 2025 or 2028. So when it really, you know, it comes to market, so you know, as a, you know, as a kind of real world solution, kind of might be 2030. Uh, you know, but not. I've previously worked, you know, in, um, you know, in some of the driverless car research, you know, and we've been saying it's, uh, you know, it's kind of 10 years away for driverless cars for the past 20, 30 years. You know, so it's always one of those kind of like movable deadlines, you know, and I think it's got, you know, it really is linked to whether people want to use the products and services. You know, and if there's demand from people, so it'll you know it'll be sooner than 2030 you know, and if there's no demand you know or no need you know then it will be after that time
Actually, monitored by this, and this is when, for example, last 